Hi, welcome to another video. My name is Andre, or you can call me Zhang Jian, which is my Chinese name. Uh, today, uh, I'm gonna go to a big park here in Zhengzhou, China. So let's go. So I've just arrived at the park, and I'm not sure if I need to wear a mask, but I'm just gonna put it on. There's this thing in China, like, you know, if you're a foreigner, it's always best to wear a mask when you go outside. There's, you know, probably no police or officials will say anything, but, you know, they just, sometimes they might, and it can be annoying, so always best to just uh, wear one. Yeah, won't be any problems, even though this is a park. And I know that this city doesn't have any like coronavirus at all. So yeah, so let's go. As I'm walking through this park, there is quite a few people here. I think right now it's Xiaqi uh, summer holiday, so there's a lot more kids here. Um, I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff, but um, yeah, like parks here in China are, you know, they're usually huge and they have a lot of stuff. All right, now I'm gonna show you the fitness area. This is where they do fitness. These, this is like, I mean, I've never seen a such a large, you know, park fitness center. I actually learned this word recently. It's called. This is called a she she gong gong tong she she. Ah uh, no, gong tong jian shen she she. Something like that. I learned it recently. Um, and um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Like people here. Oh, first of all, the equipment is really good. Um, you can do like most exercises that you can do in the gym. It's mostly body weight stuff, but um, and then there's also like a lot of open space. Uh, you can see here. Here is a uh, badminton court, so you can just play without the nets. And um, yeah, there's another one over here. Chinese people love to play badminton. Oh. Now you can see how you can get a bit of a better view of the park here. So this this whole area here is the park. It's quite big. You can see it's some very nice areas down there. All very well maintained. And this is the People's Park. You know, it's called uh, Renmin Gongyuan. And um, yeah, they do maintain it quite well. It says Da Feng Che. Da Feng Che. I don't know the fourth one. And then the Shui. Water? Da Feng Che Shui. 
Dolphin Cho is probably strong, big wind, big wind car, big wind car, and then Shui, maybe big wind water car. Who knows? I need to improve my reading ability, but I, I, I want to improve my Chinese overall, but just it requires time. The, the foreigners who speak fluent Chinese I guarantee you most of them have been in China for a long time. Just learning a language just takes time and patience. And yeah, that's that's what it is. You know, you just cannot learn it super fast. And it's frustrating because like right now I would love to be able to just talk to people more like the locals, which I can do, but it's just very limited. Um, you know, I want to have like deeper connection with them. And um, yeah, actually that's one of my motivations for being, keep on improving my, my Chinese language. And um, it's getting better and better every day. So if I stay in China, I know that in a year, a year or so, I'll be pretty much fluent. Um, so yeah, language learning is just, it just takes time. So one reason I came to China is I just think it's such a cool country, you know, with all its history. Um, like Australia just doesn't have a lot of history and it's just kind of boring. China's just, you know, it's really cool, I think. And, um, you know, it's so big as well. So when you come here, you can go to so many cities and explore. And I think that's kind of like, it's like a really, really fun thing to do. Um, and that was like my plan when I came here, I'm gonna go to like every city and I'm gonna film it. And then I can look back on it one day, been there. And, um, and yeah, I think, you know, that's, every city has a little bit of history, so, and every city is different, every city has different food. So it's great to be in a country where you have so much variety. They're playing a game, gonna ask me if I can film them a little bit. Could play each other. See, they, they're usually pretty good at playing. I mean, they play a lot. Bash Liu. Wow. She's uh, 80, 86 years old. Nina? Wow. I'm 60. And he's 70. Ah. Oh. Uh, Oh, Okay, 
Oh, that sucks. Camera happened twice now. The camera is overheated and um, it stops recording. It's just so hot and I'm recording all the time. So I didn't know I was going to run into this problem. But I just had a great interaction with those two pensioners. One was in their 70s and the lady was in her 80s. She was 86. She's still playing quite well. And this is what you can see in China. It's like old people still doing as much as they can. And I think it's great. Yeah, a lot of old people in Western countries, they just sit at home and do nothing, watch TV. So I think it's great. All right, so coming to back to the entrance of the park now. I've done like a full, uh, full loop. And, um, and yeah, what did you think of this park? Uh, I think it's quite nice. I like to come here on um, my days off. Actually, I mean in the mornings I don't have any days off. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was uh, very nice. What do you think? Um, this park is called Renmin Gongyuan. Renmin Gongyuan. We're right there. Renmin Gongyuan means people's park. All right, I'm back home now. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe and I'll make more videos. Thank you.